Is that where she was for three years? Like, not at the Baker Estate, but instead she was on the boat? Oh. That makes... I mean, I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense in Resident Evil terms, where nothing makes sense. In, in a world where a virus can give, can give you fire powers, technically. Because I think of, well, I think there was a Veronica boss or something that had pyrokinetics. You know, because virus. Uh, this is a dank place. Well, so far I have no equipment, so if anything shows up, I have to run from it. So that, that lowers some of the tension survivally. It's either this is either a non-interactive area where I can just hang out and experience the story, or it's one where I have to run from stuff. That's not a good time. Is it gonna grab me? It's gonna grab me. It's gonna grab me. It's gonna grab me. It's gonna grab me. It's gra it didn't grab me. It might still grab me. Didn't grab me. One of the little bodies like reached out and grabbed me. Ugh, they're all, ugh. Oh, it's like the ending of that game I won't name because I can't. That would be a spoiler. But you know it if you've been paying attention. Last six months or so, you know what game I'm thinking about. That thing I'm looking at right now. Don't say in the spoiler. Don't don't talk about it in the comments. You can't you can't you can't mention it because if you even say the name of the game in this context, it gives away uh, what what the ending of that game is. Hi. Yeah, I mean ships probably look similar regardless, but this all seems pre plenty familiar. To me, at least. Because I played Revelations probably two years ago. I played the console version. Ah. They're dead. They're all dead. What is it? The engine room. What the fuck are you talking about? She killed them all. Oh, fuck. What the hell is going on? We need some weapons. Is there any weapons on this ship? I, I, I don't know. But... Look, let's go this way. Maybe we can get out of here. Yep. That's where they went, at least. Instinctively, I'm still gonna search for items a little bit. You never know. Don't wanna be the jackass that makes it to the final- the next boss with no items because I didn't freaking pick anything up. What is over there? And maybe we'll see cool details. No, it's just shelves. Right. Right. Shelves have to have little walls around them because you're on a ship that leans and everything would fall off the, sh the shelves on a regular basis. Maybe it belongs to the crew. We're in a spooky setting. Oh, it's a crawl space. I didn't, I didn't know that part. Ah. Don't like it. Making me think of Alien Isolation again. I don't really want to go back there. Even though I might still play the DLC sometime. Oh, cool. Nice branching path. So you can always have the feeling that something's going to be behind you. That feels good. You hide anything? Any oh. An antique coin! Okay, so we're definitely making our way back to the, uh... To the trailer at some point, then, if there's antique coins this late in the game. It's interesting. The moment I saw this boat, after fighting Jack, and taking him down, I'm thinking, oh, the game's over. Like, I thought- I, I thought this was gonna be a linear sequence to the end, but that antique coin... more or less reveals the idea that we're going back to that... Uh, location. And get to spend it at some point. Uh, they dropped me in a hallway. We have a door over there. Hallway here. Alright, do you open? You're a shutter. Right. The idea of tying this to Revelations is funny, because Revelations was incredibly... Incredibly campy and ridiculous and not anywhere near as tense or atmospheric as this game has ever been. Which is funny, because it's like a... Oh, wow! That's a weird analog. It makes this game just like, uh, Peace Walker. I mean, not, no, uh, Phantom Pain. Metal Gear Solid Five. Cause it's- cause that game was a direct sequel to Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Which was a campier, more colorful, more absurd game. And... was a handheld exclusive. Neat. You alright? He must have been hiding from something. You don't say. She's not my child. Oh, great. It does not say she is. It says she's. Come on. I think those exist for translation purposes. I wonder... Those... So that that's probably in English in... I, I'd be curious to find out. I think that might be in English in the Japanese version of the game. And then you walk up to it and it says the Japanese symbols in the subtitle tell you what it means. Crew register. 
Ed Carlisle, Paul Fitzgerald, Giovanni Finetti, Clark C. Walsh, Dwayne Chalmers, Chalmer, Jim Stockman, Gerald Waddell. Or Gerald. Weird how they couldn't, like, write justify the other ones or something. That is weird, though, realizing that this is a... a yeah! That's a weird coincidence. They're both main numbered sequels in their respective franchises, and their sequ and their sequels to their stories are direct sequels to handheld, or at least originally handheld exclusive games that were campier and weirder and less and fewer people played, but they still made it a sequel anyway. And the original ones both got uh, console re-releases eventually. That's a weird number of coincidences between the two franchises all of a sudden. Still no items to use. So that's the other one. Two for two on those two being dead. And there are just not items around here. She's inside me, she's inside everyone. What's gonna happen? Oh, though I could be all wrong. Maybe the- maybe the girl is that weird monster from the end of Resident Evil 6. I would love to have an explanation of who the hell that was, because freaking Resident Evil 6, you finish the Ada Watt campaign and it reveals that the bot- the person behind all the machinations was, oh, that person, and, the sh and Ada says the person's name. And I tried looking at- I was like, oh, maybe I haven't played every Resident Evil, maybe I just don't know who that is, so I tried looking it up online? No. Even on the wiki, like, the only reference to that character is 6, and she just mentioned my name once. It's no grand reveal. The grand villain of the freaking Resident Evil 6 was just some random name, and it meant nothing. 71 tonnage. So if this was follow-up on that, and she was the villain of this too or something, that, that'd at least be something. Settle down, little girl. Whoa. Ah! Ah! Are you remembering? What? What are you? <laughs> well, that's spooky. Are you physically here? Or are you just a vision right now? Those are bad sounds. Are the molded going to show up here? Well, what could go wrong? At least I can look up. There's that. Uh, don't fall. Oh, that jiggle. That's crazy. The whole thing rumbles as you're walking up it. Like, realistically. That's kind of cool. Oh. The way that their head would just explode with black. Like, so it was, it was already inside them and she would just kill them in the moment. I don't want to go in that. Hit. <laughs> Ah. Uh, I mean, at the very least, we know there's antique coins. So that's something. Huh. I still have some expanded inventory size. Gross. You said we could be a family. What are you talking about? You said Silent Hill. Wait. Silent Hill. I'm tired of waiting. Please. She's not very nice. Oh, the door overgrew. Is, is a monster going to show up or no? I believe the answer is yes. Is it the crawling monster? Yes, it is. I don't have a knife. An herb? Suddenly I have an inventory. Why not? But I don't have a knife, so I can't break this? What is that? Oh, that's creepy looking. 
Okay, so there are monsters, and there's items, apparently. Crap. That wasn't very nice. I get all that gear and they take it all away from me. Get to play as Mia now. She probably doesn't even have steroids. Anyone in here? Just need to find a weapon. So right now I can't fight that thing. All I can do is run past it. But I don't know where to run to yet. There's no entrance. There's no other entrance to here, right? Do I have a map? I do have a map. There is another entrance. Which is hopefully also closed. Chem fluid. I can craft bullets if I get gunpowder. There's a box waiting for me in the other room if I ever get a knife. Fuck you. Oh yeah, fuck you. That's a bad time. Well, now we wait I guess. They go away, right? They haven't gotten through a door yet, as far as I can remember. Yeah, he just dissolved. I have enough for one first aid kit. That's not great. Yeah, that's not great. It's not a lot to work with. I need a knife or a gun. I want to make bullets or something. All right, so let's just consult our map. Shit. So that door is... That, the door right in front of me to the left. That's the one that blocked off. There's a whole bunch of doors here, though. Those were the previous areas we explored. Staircase... So the staircase just goes back down. That's how we got up here, right? Yeah. So... No, I got up here via ladder, didn't I? No. That was all... Whatever. Uh... So if I go past the room I was in earlier, there's three doors along that hallway. Otherwise, this bottom left down here has a door too. It mostly comes down to where the hell these enemies are going to be spawning. So does the same enemy respawn? Because oftentimes when I clear a room, when I, when I, when I spawn somebody run away, Nope, he's back. Alright. No more of that for now, huh? Shit. Okay, let's go this way then. Shit. Going to- okay, no. Nope. Nope. Nope, get out of that inventory. Heck. There's locked doors, you prick. Well, this is the room he was in. Is he gonna respawn in here, or am I safe? He's sinking into the ground now. There he goes. Okay, so he does, he does respawn. And that's here. Son of a bitch. God damn, you're just covered in enemies. Oh, this door's open. Fuck you. We safe in here? Safe room. Oh, an actual safe room. Okay. Interesting. Oh, it's a gun. Two shots. That's adorable. Probably useless. Might kill one small one. Small standard power handgun acquired on a wrecked ship. So it's a different one. Its name even indicates that's that's a different one this time. Today, I suck out of... I can't read that. Say WTF? WTR? <laughs> not sure. Let's see, not much else going on around here. 
can't even view my own inventory. My own health. Uh, let's just make one. So now I have one heal if I need it. I'll go with that. Because, uh, I might take more damage. Let's make a save, but it'll be a new save. Because, uh, I want to have a save from before I got here in case I have for some- any reason to, uh, try to revisit my own inventory and, like, change stuff or maybe even run back before doing the boss fight or anything. Because we, we had a major change, and I don't know if past things could affect more. Also, I made a major decision w earlier, and... Uh, whenever you make major decisions, it's good to make a save afterwards that's separate. Where is he? Fuck me. On both sides? At the same time? God damn it, get it! Get it, get it, get it, get it. <sighs> Where the fuck am I gonna go? I mean, I gotta heal at this point, yeah. It's not even a good heal, is it? Uh, I, don't, I have no wrist rot. I don't have wrist thing, so I can't tell. Uh, bottle? What does that mean? Legend. Metal lock. So I need a lock pick to get through that one? All I have is a strange bottle and two shots of a gun, which is not going to help me with that many enemies. Um, so the opposite side... So she went through there and it clearly sealed up. There's two things over there. Two separate rooms. One straight across. Fuck it. Hashtag YOLO swag. Ow. Crap. Everything sucks. Psycho stems? Sure. Oh no. Come back closed. Whew. I wish I could see my own- I keep reflexively trying to check my health and I can't anymore. Ah, can I not- Is that what the bullets are for? To open freaking crates? Makes sense, because I don't have freaking, uh... I don't have a- I don't have a knife. So two shots to break two crates actually kind of makes sense. It's too late for us. But at least I can let the world know what happened here. I was on night shift yesterday, so I was taking a nap in the bunk r room around noon. I was half asleep, and I heard a kid, a little girl, laughing. Or was that all in my head? I woke up at 19.30, at 7.30 in the afternoon. There was some sort of ruckus in the passageway. Drew, one of the engineers, came in and said that there was something going on down below, maybe a riot. He looked pale in the face. He told me he was going to check it out, but he never came back. It must have been around 7.50 when I heard the scream. I went to the laundry room to check and saw Clark being eaten by some sort of blackish monster. The monster turned and started coming towards me. Huge, shark-like teeth snapping in its jaw. I just screamed like a little girl and ran for it. Now I'm huddled up in the bunk room, shaking as I write this. There's a whole host of those creatures lurking in the passageways now. I can still hear screams now and then, but there's no way I'm going out there, there now. And that's it. I've written everything I know. Giovanni Finetti. That's, uh, not useful. He thought he heard a little girl. Monsters ate things. Pretty much the same stuff we figured by now. Are we safe in here? I guess if we're not, I can just go back. No? Nothing? Not even gonna put it on for extra padding? That seems like a legit plan. Put that on and you might be more less susceptible to damage. Amazon River Cruise Guide. Beauty in the Black Lagoon. There's another one. Can't you guys just give me a knife? Ooh. That's good. It's a lot more ammo to work with. They apparently can't come through windows? Or they, or they haven't realized they, that I'm here and they could, and they could. The important thing is I have a safe room near- fuck. Ah! Freaks me out that doors open when you bump into them, when you're not facing them. Useful if you're backtracking through a door on purpose, I guess, but it's just startling in the moment. 
So this is the other door. Both doors were the same place. Just touching it to add it to the map to indicate it. Ain't crap in there. Ain't nothing at all. So I've been everywhere now, haven't I? Dear Janet, hey, how's it going? I guess half a year or so will have passed by the time you get this letter. Life's so boring here, day after day, just the same old sea. Although there is no, there is one thing that's different. This time, we have some passengers sailing with us, which hardly ever happens. It's a couple with a little girl. I think they're distant relatives of the captain. Imagine traveling on a tanker instead of a passenger trip. They must be hard up. I tried talking to the little girl earlier, and her dad shot me this nasty look. What's he so worried about? Now that I think about it, the captain said he didn't have any relatives. Maybe I'm overthinking this. I miss you. Love, Jim. Nope. Not related to the captain. What the heck is that thing? That's glitched, right? That's like a pipe coming out of the ground that you see sometimes, but it's like inside of a table. That's definitely not supposed to look like that. Oh, that door did not automatically close behind me. That's unnerving. Alright. Quickly losing faith in the idea of ever finding a knife. So maybe I should just give up and shoot those things since they gave me some ammo. And, and since I can clearly run past most of the enemies so far, and it would be ill-advised to try to shoot my way through all of them, probably. And maybe there'll be, inside of one of these things, uh, a knife. Or even more ammo. What are you? Hey, first aid. That'll help a bit. What's that? Can I get to the door? Okay, so... That far room in the top left has at least one box in it. At the very least. I don't remember if the safe room had a box in it or not right now. But we're clearly done in here, right? Unless I'm missing something. What worries me is I'm not finding anything that seems vital. And I think I need something vital to continue. Leave me alone! Just gonna look around a little bit. He's kind of avoidable for the moment. Are there any boxes in here, or anything important? Uh, I don't see anything, I'm leaving. Back in this room! Alright. Gunpowder! Oh. Make me feel bad, huh? So you- so you were spoiled for choice with that goddamn, uh, chemical then, weren't you? You could have made a heal, you could have made more bullets, and you could have made psychostims, which admittedly, uh, may not actually help you very much. Oh, they, oh, that, oh, they already are psychostims. I should have taken that. God damn it. I should have- I, I thought they were supplements. Let's take them. There's an item back there. That's not an item. Is that the only one in the entire place and I missed it somehow? Guess so. Where is it? Well, there's a bunch of them in here. Oh shit, it's a fuse. General purpose fuse. Oh, there's something in the washing machine. I don't know what that was. <laughs> I didn't read it. Okay. There's a lot of stuff in that room. Shit. What did I pick up? Machine gun ammo. Fuck you, really? We need a fuse. My psycho stims are gonna wear off at this rate. Oh, shit. Oh, there's something like in the on the floor over there. He just melts into the floor.
But I can't fucking get in there. And the psycho stims are gonna wear off. Well, I know that that room's full of stuff now, at least. Okay, fuse. Not sure how long the psycho stims are gonna last. We'll just see. I mean, at least I got the machine gun ammo. That's probably gonna help. Oh, uh, was that the pulse of the Psycho Sims wearing off? Got a map. So we went from first floor to second floor. How many floors? So... There's two above this one. Sick Bay Bridge. Locked from the other side. We're not going there. Shit. Could I have shot the lock off? Metal lock. Ah! I've got to try, right? I didn't even think about that. I'm so used to thinking in terms of keys. If it's just a metal lock, I might be able to, do, be able to just shoot it off. No? God damn it. Well, that was a waste of one of my only shots. No, I absolutely need a key. Can I just take this? Oh, no, I can't. No, I can't. Shit. Shit. I thought I would just open the uh, lock and steal. Open the door and then grab the fuse and take it with me. Because I might need it later. Nope, not, that's not the kind of puzzle happening here. Alright. At least Lucas hasn't been here. So I prob- so I don't have to deal with freaking traps. There's not that kind of trap. There's still more up here, huh? This one does open. Concerning. Okay, well, if they're gonna give me a map, I'm gonna use it. The... Which way is it facing? Where's the lat- where's the staircase? <laughs> where's the staircase? I might be there? Going about to go down that hallway? Which sticks outward? Yeah. Yeah, there's a gap on that side of the map the whole way up, so maybe that's the staircase. So, first look at the security, then loop around to... Control room and sick bay. The, the floor we skipped was the kitchen and dining room floor. Don't see much else going on around here. Kinda looks like a big loop, so I guess there's not much need for a map. If I'm even reading it correctly in the first place. Place doesn't seem very goopy, so maybe no bad guys? Keep an eye out for stuff. I need to find a key. For the, the big thing we learned from the Psycho Stems is that that one damn room is completely jam-packed with stuff. Oh, it's all goopy in here, isn't it? Maybe it's not goopy. Maybe it's just gross on the floor. Corroded or something. Watch it. What? Why? You need to remember. So we can be a family. She wants me to watch a tape? Sound like a warning at first. Like, watch it. But she wants me to watch the tape. Ah, shit. Oh, this is gonna be a save room. That's a- that's a recorder. This, so she's gonna leave. And it's gonna become a safe room. Okay. Oh, good. Yeah, that'll play. Great. 